Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to your daily Silver Stacking video. Thank you for tuning in. Silver Stackers, if you love silver as much as I do, then click subscribe and also click the like button. I want to see how many of you love silver. Also, if you want a chance to win some silver, then click subscribe and click the like button. And if you want the newest, latest, freshest, most up-to-date recent information in the world of precious metals, click subscribe and click the like button. I'm not making this up. I'm doing a massive 50,000 subscriber silver giveaway. May the best stacker or the luckiest stacker win. Now, we all know that silver manipulation is a real thing. JP Morgan, Merrill Lynch, the Dutch Bank, all their employees are getting sent to prison left, right, front, center for spoofing, placing false buy orders on these exchanges, canceling the order before it goes through. But market manipulation, suppressing the price of silver goes way deeper than just spoofing. We're talking about the government throwing trillions of dollars out to suppress the price of gold and silver, but also to boost stocks. So we're going to look a little bit into this. And I found four or five different articles that I want to highlight and, and really break down. I want to dissect this stuff. This, this video is probably going to be on the longer side because there is so many articles, but I'm going to try to highlight the main points of each article. The first article is talking about the undeniable manipulation of the silver market. The next article is talking about silver price manipulation factor fantasy. The next article is talking about why the price of silver has been suppressed to such an extreme degree. And then the last article, which is the most important, is talking about the end game for silver market manipulation. And this is why I made this video, because I don't think that they will be able to keep manipulating the markets for much longer and definitely not to the extreme extent that they are now. There's always going to be shady stuff happening behind the scenes. Always going to be corruptness in the government. That's always going to be there. But something intrinsical like silver, where the prices are more fundamental, not speculative. Where you have something like crypto, which is non-fundamental and purely speculative. And that's why silver is the safest, smartest investment. That's why they're called safe haven metals, because you're putting your money into something that has real value. Now, let's jump into these articles. They're, they're pretty heavy articles. I'm going to try to highlight the main points because there's a lot of jam-packed information. So for decades now, both gold and silver markets have been awash with allegations of systematic price manipulation, resulting in the severe suppression of the international price of 39 spine physical gold and silver bullion. These allegations have been made by multiple organizations and individuals who have deep and extended involvement in both gold and silver markets, including U.S.-based Gold Antitrust Action Committee, Orgata, American market analyst Ted Butler, and commodities traders such as British trader Andrew McGuire. And yes, Ted Butler made an entirely crazy, exposing article just bashing just throwing out and, and completely just wiping clean the entire government and Federal Reserve. How deep this manipulation goes is, is so scary. And when I covered that Ted Butler article, even I was just mind blown while I was reading it, while I was making the video, because he exposed something much, much, much deeper and more sinister than just spoofing, just JP Morgan, you know, trying to manipulate the markets. But yeah, so th this is very extreme. And that's why I do think that once supply and demand the fundamentals comes more into play as silver is more scarce we're going to see much more of a natural price start to shine through so these allegations have been dismissed by governments regulators central banks commercial banks and other establishment institutions such as the mainstream media as wild conspiracy theories however a closer look at the available evidence suggests that these allegations are in all likelihood true, especially in the silver market, and carry significant implica implications. So 
Over the past almost 40 years, from 1980 to 2019, Australia has seen significant levels of economic growth and progress, which has encompassed rising population levels as well as rising levels of income, wealth, debt, and consequently rising prices, all except in one critical market, that being the silver market. This goes into how the, the manipulation occurs, or one of, one of the ways. So the difficult to explain price disparities between the current market price and the estimated prices based on money supply and physical but above ground stockpile dynamics suggest and add substantial weight to the allegations that precious metals markets such as silver, which is controlled through centralized commodity exchange such as the COMEX, and the London Bullion Market Exchange, which is the LBMA, are being manipulated and do not reflect genuine price discovery based on real supply and demand forces. And that's what I was talking about. It should be based more off supply and demand forces when we're talking about price discovery. But we know that the COMEX is full of spoofing, placing false buy orders um, with, with billions of dollars. I mean... I'm not lying when I say that J.P. Morgan, Merrill Lynch, these employees or ex-employees now are actually getting sent to prison. So over or of these organizations and individuals who claim that the silver market manip manipulation is indeed occurring, they also suggest that the manipulation is occurring through multiple forms and mechanisms, including, and here we go, this is what the meat and potatoes is. This is some of the ways they manipulate the price or rig the price or even suppress the price. The placement of significant number of unbacked sell orders in the silver futures market, meaning that the silver paper sell orders are without requisite physical silver bullion to deliver on the contract, also code uh, known as naked shores. Now, the placement and withdrawal of fake trades in the gold and silver futures market is also known as spoofing, rigging, of rules at the commodity exchanges such as the COMEX and the LBMA, which allow for futures contracts to be settled in cash rather than requiring the delivery of the requisite physical silver. And then you also have the rehypothecation of physical silver bullion, which means that the same ounce of silver used as collateral in multiple loan and lease agreements, including with ETFs such as the SLV and the use of dark pools of money such as the U.S. Government Treasury Department's Exchange Stabilization Fund, which is liquid enough to fund the manipulation and suppression of the prices of critical commodity markets such as gold and silver. Now, we all know that J.P. Morgan's a criminal enterprise. We don't have to go into that now i do want to go into the next article which is asking if silver price manipulation is fact or fantasy so they go into briefly the hunt brothers silver squeeze which is they call silver price manipulation with a long-standing and much discussed feature of the silver market i don't think the hunt brothers were quote unquote I guess manipulating the price i think that they owned so much silver the the physical global supply of silver which was around 77 percent some some sources say that it obviously affected it but that doesn't mean that they were manipulating it now when we covered the story of the hunt brothers it's very there's a lot of gray area right some people said that they cornered the market on purpose and were doing this in some evil illegal way they said they were just buying silver as a hedge against inflation regardless we do have a similar situation kind of like wall street silver where they're trying to buy up all the silver on the comex and the physical to push the price higher so it's a similar situation but it's also a lot different regardless you can manipulate the price that way when the way we're looking at it though is from a more sinister plot now here's a theory for at least four decades now gold and silver analysts and investor market participants have debated the, the validity of allegations concerning precious metals price manipulation through the COMEX futures contracts by a cartel that supposedly includes a group of large banks, most notably J.P. Morgan, as well as the U.S. Treasury and U.S. Federal Reserve. By maintaining an overly large short position in the silver futures market, so the theory goes, these banks have at times been able to suppress the price of the white metal in the face of bullish fundamentals. 
The belief is that the silver price will not rise significantly until these players allow it to do so. So they're just in this, they're the puppet masters, right? They are able to push the price higher or lower depending upon their wishes. Now, they also go into JP Morgan spoofing and all that. And yes, they have had multiple accounts, not just JP Morgan. I also made a video on Merrill Lynch spoofing as well, essentially rigging the prices. Now, here's a 2011 edition of rigging silver or if the price is rigged. So let's look a little bit into this. So back in 2011, in Ask the Readers, do you believe the silver market's rigged? 66% responding yes at the time. They shared the results with some of the most notable names in the precious metals market. A few were kind enough to comment. So Jeffrey Christian, which is pretty, he's very notable in the precious metals world. He's a partner of CPM Group. He's uh, never been shy when it comes to voicing his position on the topic of manipulation. So he said in 2011, over 90% of those invested in physical silver are not in conspiracy theories. They are not guns and bunker crowd for whom silver is not just an investment, it's a religion. And that is that, that is definitely true. I mean, we don't have to put on our tinfoil hat just to invest into silver. It is a direct threat to the dollar, and there are many reasons why they would want, or the banks or governments would want you to invest into stocks or anything that's pegged to the dollar rather than gold and silver when you take the power away from them. Because as soon as you put that, that fake dollar into silver, you've taken control of your wealth, and they can't control it, which obviously they don't want. But anyways, now they go to the Silver Prices Rig 2021 edition. Now let's look at these numbers. So now they ask the same question. Do you believe the silver market's manipulated this time around? An eye-popping 95.6% responded yes. Within a decade, it went from, what was it, 60, 66% saying yes to now 95.6% saying yes. 95.6% of the people responded yes to thinking silver prices are manipulated. That is an astronomical number. That is very, that, that, that's pretty concerning. I mean, I, I don't see how that percentage is real. It's almost like every single person that stacks silver knows that it's manipulated. But silver price manipulation is also what drives away a lot of investors. And that's why I like to cover articles like the next one we're going to be getting into talking about the end game, talking about how this manipulation can't last forever. Because if you know that silver prices are rigged and you don't think they're ever going to change, then why would you invest into it? Just like if you know a basketball game's rigged, it doesn't make it as exciting to, to, to watch it or even gamble on it. I mean, you know the price is fixed, but we all know that that can't happen for too much longer. The, the supply and demand is outweighing that the, the manipulation side. So this article is interesting because it talks about why the price has been suppressed to such an extreme degree, which none of the previous articles really covered. So... Many previous commentaries have described and discussed the various ways in which the silver market has been manipulated in the past and is being manipulated today. What has been explained in years past but missing from recent editions are the reasons for the serial manipulation of the silver market. So I don't want to go into obviously, obviously we know silver is money, blah, 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 blah. So. Nothing has changed. Over the past century, numerous important industrial uses have also emerged for silver. It is even more valuable today. Now, look at the gold to silver ratio. For over 4,000 years, the price, uh, the, the ratio has been around 15 to 1, right? And, and that's what I've always talked about. Virtually identical to the supply ratio between the two metals, 17 to 1. It comes out of the ground roughly 8 to 1, 10 to 1, or whatever. So that's what the ratio should be based on as it was for thousands of years. But 
It wasn't until 1930 when FDR got in office, changed it from 16 to 1 to 75 to 1, devaluing silver, and it all has been downhill from there. But anyways, despite being more valuable than ever in the 1980s when silver was $50 and then the 1990s, the price of silver was driven to a 600-year low in real dollars. The gold to silver price ratio was driven to extremes as great as 100 to 1 total perversion as or the market fundamentals, right? FDR single-handedly devalued silver. Silver was worthless compared to gold during that period and hasn't really recovered. We saw it up to 125 to 1 March 2020. Now it's back down to around 60, 70 or around 70, 80 to 1. And, but but still, it's never gone back to that the natural 16 to 1 level or the 8 to 1 level that it should be. This, this bankrupt note, more than 90% of the world's silver mines and drove the silver market into a permanently or a permanent supply deficit. The silver industry has never recovered because it is never allowed to recover. It's never been allowed to recover. And why? Why has the banking crime syndicate, the one bank, found it necessary to not merely attack the silver sector, but to practically destroy it? Knowledgeable precious metals investors can supply part of the answer here because precious metals are money silver and gold function as the monetary equivalent of canaries in a coal mine the supply of the gold and silver money is practically flat thus when the bankers significantly inflate the supplies of their paper currencies which they're always doing especially nowadays the price of gold and silver must rise to reflect this is relative change in supply now here are some very important points to take note of so they're talking about one of the reasons that the silver market is subjected to an even greater degree of permanent price suppression is from the big bank crime syndicate than the gold market as an example of this oppressive manipulation, the permanent short position in the silver market held by just four big banks is roughly 4,000% larger than the short position in the crude oil market in proportionate terms, which is totally illegal. And the reason why the banking crime syndicate has a pathological hatred or fear towards silver is because silver is more than money. Silver is the people's money. So there's also this 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 quote from Alan Greenspan saying in the absence of the gold standard there is no way to prevent the confiscation of savings through inflation and when he says confiscate he means steal right and when he uses the noun savings he means our wealth the banking crime syndicate inflates the supply of our paper currencies in order to steal our wealth so Greenspan's warning is not entirely accurate. There is a way to prevent the bankers from stealing our wealth with their money printing, even in the absence of the gold standard. Understanding this requires understanding how theft takes place, which is dilution. So we're not going to go too much into that. I just want to cover, you know, what we need to know, not all the extra stuff. But we do know that this is still going to happen, but I want to find out why it might not be happening for too much longer, which is our last article. Let's go into it. So, silver market manipulation. It's no conspiracy theory. Everyone knows the big bullion banks have been doing it for years, sp suppressing gold and silver prices with paper production and derivatives until now. Because J.P. Morgan's days of ruling over the metals market are numbered. The silver squeeze hype has triggered a massive silver rally. It's the end game for the Fed's grand experiment and for anyone clinging to the fiat system. Now, physical gold and silver are your life raft from the coming reckoning in silver markets and gold markets and across a financial system flooded with worthless cash. And when we're looking at manipulation, that can't last much longer when we look at everything about to happen. I can tell you 20 different reasons why silver is going to explode over the next 5-10 years. I could tell you 20 different reasons why stocks will not explode over the next 5-10 years. Now, when we look at these 8 different factors, considering what's going to make silver explosive or skyrocket or even rally, 
you can't ignore that and manipulation no matter to what degree won't be able to stop it national debt 900 billion dollars stimulus packages on the way or currently happening with 29 trillion dollars in debt and proposed a 1.9 trillion dollar package interest rates are at historical lows currently still dealing with that this virus is still happening european uh, europe is in a state of lockdown vaccines should triumph and we already have more uh, vaccinations to come and it's still spreading schools back in play you know we have the holidays christmas all that everything is just going to keep cycling back and every single time a situation like this happens we have to throw out more money which means we have to reprint more money which means that weakens the dollar and the dollar has a direct correlation to gold and silver markets we mentioned the u.s mint running out of silver they mentioned that there's a silver shortage this is also disrupting supply chains the silver shortage isn't going anywhere it's only going to get worse commodities prices are at six years high and on top of everything else the fed confirmed for the second time they will continue to ease indefinitely and support higher inflation lastly throw in some storming of the white house and democratic sweep of congress and we have the perfect recipe for a weaker dollar stronger inflation and higher gold and silver prices i mean and then let's get into this most likely however the lethargic gold and silver prices are due to the ongoing manipulation by the bullion banks right jp morgan have been raiding the paper market for years buying selling gold in london nor new york exchanges these bullion banks drive paper price down allowing them to buy back paper and physical gold at lower prices right they're always going to do this they're always going to try to understanding these dynam dynamics offer a huge advantage though these raids allow you to pick up physical gold and silver at artificially low prices every time gold and silver prices are manipulated down more physical metal is taken off the market permanently which will cause the price to rise that much further in the future that's a very important point to note and then when we're looking at the wealth effect this is you know th this might have superb diversion deeply uh below the surface but ultimately the fed is doomed to fail the debt is too great the economy is too weak that that's 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 a reality it's not if it's going to happen it's when it's going to happen it's when we won't be one of those people that have to suffer and, and really um, get beat down. We'll be down bad because we are investing into our financial our, our financial future. We have some type of plan. We have an alternative. Most people don't. There is no solution, but at least we have something that we're putting our money into that holds its value while everything else collapses and crashes around us. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I know this video was lengthy. It's really late at night. I hope I did a okay job at putting this video together. A lot of different information was covered. I mean, I'm tired, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching until this point, thank you so much. I pat yourself on the back for sticking through this. You didn't click off the video thinking you know it all because most people probably clicked off within, within the first two three minutes thinking they know everything they don't need to know anything more and, and just you know the smartest guy in the room type of feeling but you stayed through and tried to get every single piece of information and i promise that's going to take you very far in your silver stacking strategy and how successful you are so yeah i appreciate you i love you all the link to these articles will be in the description make sure you subscribe Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.